they love to serve so much that, you know, as we go on later in uh, chapter, uh, verse 18 to 24, he became the gatekeeper. And then he played the, the lives and uh, he was the guard of the art. He did many other things. You know, that was in the Old Testament. When the presence of God was in the temple. But now when Jesus came, you know, when we accept Jesus, He lives in us. We are the temple of God. You know, we, the blessed generation of Christians, we love to serve. Serving is our culture. We are very passionate to serve. You know, People do not have to tell us what to do, we just serve. Because it's coming from inside of us. We just want to help. You know, we are a loving generation. Okay, my last point. Point number seven. We are a blessing. We are very generous, and then we are being generous to become a blessing. You know, Romans chapter 12, verse 14 says, Bless those who persecute you. Don't curse them, but pray that God will bless them. You know, we love to bless people. Let's try that. Can you say, God bless you to your name? Now, when we say God bless you, it's not just when people sneeze. We, when we say God bless you, it's not when people sneeze. Hachu. Hachu. You know, we don't just say those words, but we really mean it. We choose to speak words of blessing than words of cursing. We choose to say positive words and negative words. Because we want to bless other people. We're very generous. We have the generosity of God. Amen. Amen. Can we can we go to the first? Do you remember the first uh, point? That's what came. Number one, joyful. Yeah, give a smile, joyful. Number two, forgiveness. I forgive you. You can not forgive you. Forgiveness. Third, healing. Since you're a Christian, you know that healing can come from God. That you, you begin to share your healing. Number four, giving. giving. That's right. <laughs> you know, you love to give. It's, it, let me remind you again, it's not about how much you have, but it's, it's a lifestyle. Remember that poor widow. The next point is serving. We love to serve our brothers and sisters. And then uh, the last one is blessing. Amen. You know, I hope this will be a blessing to you as I share this. Because from now on, we are generous Christians. You know, it's not, we are not narrow minded. We're not self-focused, self-centered. We're not very calculated. We're not stingy. Because we are generous Christians. Amen. Can we, can we say 
let's say this together. One, two, three. Generous Christian. Okay. One, two, three. We are generous Christians. Okay. Let's stand and I will pray for you. Dear Jesus, we thank you for today. That you have called us to be generous. Because you are generous. With your sacrifice, we can become generous. Well, thank you, O oh God, that we can be a blessing to other people, not a cursing. We can give to other people. We can speak words of blessing. We can show our love with the joy that we have. We can serve people. We can say that God, you are the healer, that we can share the healing of God. We can also practice forgiveness. Because you have called us to forgive other people many times. That is our DNA, oh God. Our DNA as Christians. That is our lifestyle. That is who we are. Because we are generous Christians because of you. Oh Lord, I ask that you help us to practice generosity every day of our lives. Knowing that we are generous because of you. We thank you, oh God, that it's it's not about the culture that we live in, the Chinese culture or other cultures, but the Christian culture that we have developed because of you. Thank you, Jesus. We pray all this in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen.